guys welcome to my channel today's video is actually in continuation to my previous video which was a mac haul in that video i had mentioned all the face products which i had got and i promise that i will um, make another video of all the lip products which i own and i'll show you uh, lip swatches and hand swatches of all those products so this video is going to be about that also i'll be giving a mini review uh, about all the colors which i own so that you guys know whether it is going to suit your skin tone or not um, i have gone through a lot of pain to actually do this my lips are feeling sore right now but then i had to do this because i promised you guys so here it is i hope you guys like it and i hope you guys have fun the color which i want to start with is my favorite color it's uh, in shade please me it is matte formula it is a very pretty muted rose pink color the next shade i'm talking about is speak louder it is creme sheen finish it's a very very nice pink color but um, it has blue undertones in it. The next shade which I'll talk about is Lustering. It is Luster Finish. It's a very, very pretty outspoken pink color. next color is one of my favorites again uh, this shade is called Meher and this is matte finish it's again a very very pretty pinkish nude but this is more like a dirty pink so it's a more of a dirty pink nude and it has blue undertones forgot to show you guys the hand swatches of the previous lipsticks which I have swatched on my lips so this is please me this is speak louder this is lustering and this is mehe the next color I'm talking about is retro it is a satin finish it's a very pretty brown color and it has peachish pinkish undertones However, I really think uh, before wearing this color, you should be really careful about the rest of your makeup. Otherwise, uh, um, it might not really suit you or it might not really come off really well with just any kind of makeup. The next color which I'm talking about is my absolute favorite. It's the color Twig and it is Satin Formula. It's a very very pretty muted pink color but it has very very strong brown undertones. It is a very very pretty color. I really like it on a day when um, I'm not feeling like doing a lot of makeup. So I just put my BB cream or CC cream and some mascara and then I put this and I'm good to go. So I really really like this color for that reason. it is possible to find out the difference retro is more towards uh, peachishness and brownishness and this is more pinkish and brownish so i don't know if the, in the hand swatch it is possible to make that out the next color i'll be talking about is viva glam 3 this is seriously a very hardcore brown color and it has a bit of plum undertones in it but I really think this is like a very very stark brown color uh, somehow I think I got it on a stupid whim and it just doesn't look that good on me or I don't think I can really carry this off and I don't see myself wearing this much in the future this is uh, Viva Glam 3 Okay, so this color is my absolute favorite. This is Viva Glam 1 and I'm telling you, I fell in love with this color the moment I saw this. It is a 
very very pretty maroonish red color it also has um, hints of brown in it and it has blue undertones I don't know why on camera we were glam 3 and 1 okay I don't think it's looking similar I don't know I mean if you can make out they both look really very different this is more towards maroonish red kind of uh, color and this is more like a brown um, yeah, brown color. The next color I'm talking about is uh, Pink Pigeon. It's a very, very pretty bright pink color and it's just a very pretty clean pink color. I think this is the prettiest pink color I own. Even though I am uh, a warm skin tone and pink or any sort of pink or bluish undertone is supposed to make me look washed out somehow, I think this does not make me look washed out. The next shade is Flat Out Fabulous. This is um, retro matte finish. It's an, a very pretty uh, deep plumish color, uh, more like an orchid color. I don't know if uh, they look very similar. This is actually Pink Pigeon and this is Flat Out Fabulous. On camera they might be looking a bit similar but they are actually not. They are very very far apart. shade which I'm going to talk about is the shade which I'm wearing. Uh, so this is Candy Yum Yum. It is matte finish and the only good way to describe this shade is that it is neon pink. It is a bright in your face neon pink and honestly I only got this color because it's just pretty to look at in the tube itself and I really don't think I can see myself wearing it a lot outside or at all outside. It's very pretty color it is the color which I'm wearing right now um, it is all fired up and it is in retro matte finish it's a very very pretty um, reddish pink color I think it has equal parts of both in it Pencil is 
is a chick trick. It's a very pretty uh, dark pink color. So finally, this is the last shade which I want to share with you guys. This is again a lip pencil. It is the shade which I'm wearing. It's called Follow Your Heart. It is a very deep, deep red color and it has blue undertones. Just like a Ruby Woo, but Ruby Woo is a bit more darker than this color. This is a bit more towards the orange uh, origin, orangish side. So this was the last color which I wanted to share with you guys. These are all the lip products which I own from MAC. I also got this uh, MAC Prep and Prime uh, lip base. I don't know if you guys are aware of it. This is basically um, a very nice lip primer. So you're supposed to put this on before your lipstick or your lip pencil so that uh, whatever you are wearing the application goes a bit more smoother and your lines or fine lines or whatever you have on your lips smooth out a bit more and the whole application the process of application is easier the retro mattes especially these lip pencils are really very difficult to apply but then once you put this on it's a piece of cake so i can really eat some cake right now anyways i think these were all the products which i wanted to share with you guys all the lip products which I have mentioned here are really very nice and um, I think there were one or two shades which I think were a miss for me and for my skin tone but let me tell you all these shades they really depend on what kind of pigmentation you have on your lip so it might actually come a bit different on your lip. I hope this was helpful for you and you like this video and if you liked it please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!